The next part we're going to model is the flywheel web. So as always, start a standard millimeter IPT. So the first thing we're going to do is get the main profile, and it's very important in Venter that we don't overcomplicate our sketches, because of course you could do one complicated sketch and then extrude this, but I'm going to try and show you a way of which you keep your sketches as simple as possible and you do all of your features in 3D. So we're going to start with a sketch, and we're going to do it on the XZ plane. So the first thing we're going to do is basically draw the outer diameter, which is at 90 millimeters, and then we're going to do the inner diameter, which is at 28.5. And as you can see, I'm typing in the dimensions as I'm creating the circle. I was using the hotkey C to create the circle. We've now got our basic profile. So we're going to press E for extrude, and it's obviously saying which profile am I extruding. We're going to select this one, and it's 3 millimeters. And of course, we're going to do it symmetric, so we can keep the center of gravity around 0.0.0. .0. So if you just hit OK, we now have the bases of our flywheel web. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw one of these profiles in a simple form and then I'm going to fillet it afterwards and then circular pattern it four times. So if we hit sketch and we'll start on this face, take us into the sketch environment. I'm going to start with my two circles, so again, center point circle, and the first one is at 20 millimeters radius, not diameter, so change that. And my second circle, which is 40 millimeter radius, so 80 mil diameter. So that gives us basically the, you can see, the inner and outer edges. We then have two lines. I'm now going to draw in my two lines, and the good thing about Inventor is we can be very rough to start with and, of course, constrain it afterwards. So I'm going to draw in the two lines roughly where I think they are. I use the hotkey L to get up the line tool. Now you can see on the vertical line there's a little, a little white mark next to it which is showing the perpendicular constraint. So what the inventor is saying is I think you want to draw this line perpendicular. If you place this line down I will add that constraint for you. So that's good. We'll add that in. You can, I've now pressed escape out of the line, so you can see we've got two dimensions needed, and those dimensions are basically where these lines are in space. So we're going to hit the dimension and do it to the center point, and we know this dimension here is 6.35 millimeters, and we know that it's going to be the same for this one. So what you can do in Inventor is you can actually select other dimensions. So if I select this, you can see it's changed to D6. So that means whatever this one here changes to, say we change that to 8mm just to show you, they both change. So this is a function of this dimension. So again, we're modelling parametrically in case anything changes at the end. So we now have a bit of extra sketch geometry left over. So you have a trim tool, so AutoCAD users will be familiar with this. If you hit X, that actually takes you into the trim tool, which is in your modify panel just here. And then you hover over and you can see that one line is dashed and one is is solid so the dashed line is what's going to be removed so you can see that's perfect and also we do the same for the inner diameter we're now left with one segment of that flywheel web that we needed I'm then going to hit E for extrude it's obviously asking which profile because there's a possible three here we're going to select this one as default inventors saying okay you must want to add material here if you're using extrude we don't we want to use cut which is this tool here and we don't want to do distance 3 millimeters because if somebody comes in and retrospectively changes the thickness of this web to say 4 mil, our cut won't go all the way through. So what we need to do is we need to change this to all. So this will always cut this profile through the whole model, no matter how thick it is. So if we hit OK, you can now see we've got the flywheel web. We've only got one of the four segments. But now we're going to add in the fillets. Fillet radius is 4.5, so if we hit F for the shortcut for fillet. We're then going to select all of the edges like this, uh, change the radius to 4.5 and then we're going to hit OK. So you can now see we've got that profile so that was a lot easier than doing one big sketch with all of these features done in 2D. So now all we're going to do is use a circular pattern. Asking which features is it that you want to rotate, we're going to of course select the extrusion but you can actually also select the fillets as well. We're then going to use the rotation axis and of course it defaults to 6 through 360. We actually only want 4 
hit OK. There we go. That's the flywheel web. And hopefully that showed you that it's a lot quicker to do a simple 2D sketch and do all of your features in 3D. Last thing we need to do is change the material, which is stainless steel. So we'll hit return, and there we go. So we're going to save that one. And of course, because the IPJ has gone into the correct folder, we're going to save that one as flywheel web.